So we're going to begin the assembly following the order in the uh, manual. And the first thing it wants is the wire jumpers put in. And it mentions here five of them have the clear tubing uh, to insulate them over them. And it took me a while to realize how to identify the five. And the five are identified here by this little circle sleeping on these. And there's five little arrows here that point at various positions to get the sleeve. So uh, the kit came with this wire. So let's uh, see if we can make this work. I'm trying to decide what tools here will be best. Get a nice bend there. I need a piece of tubing a little bit shorter than that. Try cutting it there. I should have actually put the tubing on first. There's a lot of jumpers, this being a single sided board. Uh, a lot of jumpers. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and trim a section of this out and hope I didn't just make a cut. I'm sure there's plenty extra here that if I just accidentally wasted some. It won't matter with this one. Yep, this is jumper 21. It will bend right out the tubing. And that should be our first jumper. It's just a matter now of getting it into place. Like so. Um, I don't like it because it's the way it's bowed. It's uh, come on, lift up out of there. The wires actually got a, a v, had a V shape to it that made it kind of stand up funny off the board that I didn't like. So We'll find out here. It seems a little big to me, but it may not be. Oh, I don't like the looks of that solder joint. Now that I see it. one jumper down, a whole crud load to go. We've got uh, three here in a row that all get jumpered, and a really long one, which is this one. And I'm going to start with the sleeving, actually. Swapping over to the other glasses, see if it's a little easier for me. A little bit of bend. Hopefully that's going to be close. That was 24 here, this guy. Yep, and by using the sleeve, the insulating sleeve as the distance guide, I, that got a really nice fit. So it's this lead. I soldered the bottom one. Right here. And then there are 
there's three along there. We do the same thing for. Well, that was exciting. Luckily, I saw where it flew off to. Actually, surprised it didn't drop into the carpet, which is typically what happens. Drop right in. So the ones with the sleeving, this is working out well because, like I said, I can use the sleeve uh, to basically give me the length of the wire. So I actually want to put the second jumper in since it'll get soldered uh, at the same time that this jumper gets soldered. So let's get another length here. What it is, is is the jumper connects to the pin there and then the signal continues on to someplace else. So, that's why it looked a little funky to me. It's not exactly bent to a 90. it for this bottom one down here it might just accidentally be a good length for it and it is it's it's a fine length for that one so let's redo it not sure why it ended up This is not a 20 minute build. It'll probably take me an hour or two just to get all these jumpers in place, uh, especially if my fingers continue to not work. one yeah we'll solder that one first so yeah those two leads there are tied together so we'll go ahead and solder that now trying to leave the pin open uh, for the IC socket and then there's two pins again these two pins where this meets together here also get jumpered together We'll now solder those. Trim. 
I hate it when I cut down into the solder. But you know, it is what it is. You flow it so it looks a little nicer. So was that all five that had? Twenty-one, twenty-four, thirty-eight, thirty-five, and thirty-three, and there's just a sea of other jumpers on here, uh, which I'll get to. And we're not we we won't do those together. It'll be very long and very boring. I did create a map here. It's probably not showing up on camera, but I I've used red to outline all of the jumpers that I could see. It's kind of a guide and, and yellow for the diode locations on this one. And I've, I've created a sheet like this for all the major component groups uh, just to make it a little easier for my eye to find things. So anyhow, we've got a few jumpers in. Uh, we've got kind of a process to do it. Let's wrap this one up and I'll see you in whatever the next video is going to be.